don't make a sound. We don't want them hearing us. Hey, movie people. Welcome to an episode of The Senate Guy. I'm your host, Steven Angulo. Let's talk films. However, we, have to, we gotta keep our voice down, okay? Because if they hear us, they will hunt us. That's right. We return to the apocalypse with A Quiet Place Part 2, in which Emily Blunt and company continue their fight for survival in a world infested by aliens that have sensitive hearing. So we pick up exactly right, right where the first one ended, in which they finally figured out how to take on the aliens. That's right, using the sonic blast emitted from the girls' hearing aids. With John Krasinski dead, these three venture deep into the valley in search for hope. But all they, they all that they find is their old neighbor Emmett, played by Killian Murphy, who at this point has pretty much just given up. But we can't blame him, I mean. It's the apocalypse. People are dying. This man has lost both his wife and his little boy. So we kind of understand why he wouldn't want these other people around him. Now the film is playing the two different stories. The girl Reagan, played by Millicent Simmons, is the true hero of this of this film when she discovers that the radio trans, trans playing the song Beyond the Sea is actually a signal coming from an island. She believes that if she connects her hearing aid to this radio signal, then the sonic blast can be emitted through any person playing the writ the song, and that could be used to fight back on the aliens. Easy plan, right? Well, remember what Emmett said. There's some people who are not worth saving. And that's shown when they find this like group of like feral people, bandit-like things, living in a harbor when they're looking for a boat. Now, they try to rob them, but of course, they manage to fight back with, with the aliens. And they make a huge discovery. These things cannot swim. Of course, it's the apocalypse. I mean, do you think the aliens were the only monsters? No, it's human nature. We rob, we steal, we pillage just for our own sake. Once they reach the island, the island they figure out, oh, wait. There's people here, and they're having a good time. Why are they so loud? Oh, simple, the aliens can't swim. That's what the government figured out in the first place, and they tried to send out boats, but it didn't work the first time. Why? Because humans, oh my gosh, like we said, human nature, people started fighting and screaming, making noise, trying to get be the first on the boat causing the aliens to kill them and out of 12 boats only two made it out safely storytelling wise i did like that it was playing two different stories because it allows us to explore the true stars of the movie the kids the boy played by noah jupe my gosh he delivers such a fantastic performance in which he it has to like defend his little baby brother and his mother all after being caught in a bear trap Emily Blunt is still a powerful mama bear. And Melissa Simmons, my gosh, the true, true hero of this movie. Every scene with her manages to blend intensity and just clever and incredible acting. She destroyed this role. It was phenomenal. Now, I'm not a big horror movie guy, but this one I did enjoy, all right? It was intelligent and didn't know how to fill you with suspense. And the opening scene was just pure brilliance with its cinematography. It's like action sequences, it's acting, the suspense and the terror. It was honestly the best, I think it was almost 10 minutes, yeah, the less than 10 minutes of incredible filmmaking. Overall, the movie pulls you deep into this terrifying world that you truly feel like you're one of the survivors. And with its rich storytelling, its incredible acting, and just like, it's just exciting atmosphere, you too will enjoy this movie and will definitely keep quiet when you watch it in theaters. So my final rating is going to be 9.2 oxygen tanks out of 10 radio signals. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Leave a like if you did, subscribe and join the crew. And we'll see you next time for another awesome review. Also, do, be sure to follow the Twitter and Instagram page at CineGuyStephen for more fun reviews. That is at CineGuyStephen. I'll see you there. All right, guys, I got to go because, oh, my God, I hope we didn't make too much noise. But, yeah, till next time, this is Stephen Gold signing off.